Hi folks, it's Danny at Bradley James Classics and today's classic is a rather splendid Wolseley 1885 from 1969. Um, it's a manual gearbox uh, power steering um, and just an absolute fabulous car to drive. I've had the advantage of being able to a take this car for a drive which was very enjoyable and if you buy it quickly there's around half a tank of petrol in there. Um, I've also had the advantage of having it on the ramp and I can um, tell you that it is rock solid. Um, past MOT histories will give you an idea of its um, maintenance uh, and the fact that uh, she has failed um, fared well at previous MOTs and um, clearly the car's been looked after. Now it's showing just 57,000 miles which is backed up by uh, a bunch of old uh, MOT certificates. Um, there is some paperwork and thankfully there's some paperwork for a more recent expenditure. The uh, previous owner had added um, uh, qu quite a, a nice uh, electronic ignition system to the car. Um, it's had in recent times uh, full service a new battery. It's had um, tappets adjusted um, and just generally uh, settled with to make sure it is in very good order. It's very clean under the bonnet. You will notice from my static photos that there's an engine bay photo. The engine is all the right colour, which is of course that BMC green, I guess I'd call it, that the engines were painted in this era. Royal blue looks absolutely fabulous with the chrome. Um, this is the, the posh land crab, I guess, the king of the land crabs. The Wolseley was always the high-end version with luxurious um, interior, walnut dashboard. I don't actually think they're leather seats, but they look like leather, so I think that's probably a leatherette is what they used to call these back in the day. Um, a little peek inside just to remind you what I'm talking of. Really beautiful, uh, lovely wall carpet. Looks to be the original headlining in good order. And there's a tiny little nick in this seat uh, and a tiny little bit of discoloration here. But other than that, these seats with their pull down armrests do look to be in good order. There's a nice big folder there in the back with lots of history with the car, including the invoice from when the car was new. Um, oh dear, that back door's locked. Let's see if I can open that up and we can have a little look in there as well. And there we are. So, um, lovely spacious car. And because of the transverse engine, you had a virtually flat floor, um, which did, well, I say a flat floor, there is a transmission tunnel um, on the manual version, but compared to other cars of this era, it did give the impression of a lot of space inside. Um, the bodywork condition uh, is very good. Um, in fact, I would say that all you'd need to do with this car is probably just get a bucket and sponge out and it would be off to the car show. It really is in that sort of order. Um, lovely chrome, the wheel embellishers and the uh, wheel trims look excellent, as do the bumpers and overriders, as do the grille. Very clean underneath the bonnet. You'll see from my static photographs that she is very clean under there. The engine is all the right colour. And with just 57,000 miles on, the car does drive exceptionally well. That very famous hydroelastic suspension give that magic carpet ride that the land crabs and hydroelastic cars of the era gave you but because of the long wheelbase of the land crab it really did make for a smooth driving car now i'm going to walk around the car a little slower and i'm going to start at the driver's side front wing and as you can see that's nice and shiny it retains a lovely shine there's that lovely gold stripe down there there's the doors and sills are all in nice order if I'm being fussy, there's a tiny little bit of paint off here. It's probably from having one of those little devices that ironically stop you bumping the car. We often see that. That rear wing is in excellent condition. Um, bumper chrome is, is really excellent. This lovely thick um, wall carpet in the boot. It was always quite plush in the boot. The sales brochure shows a, a set of golf clubs in there, which I guess would have been a real uh, thing of the time. Um, a car that you can get golf clubs in. Lovely paintwork through the sides here. This is the rear wing 
and just walking down the side, you can see this car is lovely and straight with great lines. I would assume for it to be in this condition, I'm guessing the car must have had at some point in its life some paint work, but I guess it must have all been done at the same time because I can see no discoloration from panel to panel and all of these gaps look perfectly good. Really nice chrome. I can't see any pitting at all in the front and rear bumper. A handsome car, the famous illuminated Wolsey sign, uh, electric fans, which um, do help with cooling of these cars. I think I mentioned the ignition, new battery, and the um, previous owner of this car had actually spent out a fair chunk. There's some recent invoices adding up to several well, many many hundreds of pounds actually where the car had its tappets adjusted a super service a new battery a new ignition system a little bit of the further history of this car previous owner had bought it from a motor dealer who um, had bought it from a uh, an auction car collection and this was one from that car collection clearly in beautiful condition but he then had to fully recommission it and they've done what seems to be an excellent job. But having driven the car myself and having the opportunity to look at it on the ramp, it really is rock solid. This one does have the added advantage. Now, I don't know how well this is gonna go as I duck down here, but it's got um, a stainless steel exhaust system all the way through, um, which usually can uh, last the lifetime of a car. You won't get stainless steel exhausts rotting and, and rusting like a mild steel one would. Um, and as I look around the car now, there really isn't a bad angle. It's uh, a beautiful color, this royal blue. Really works well with the chrome and the contrasting blue leatherette seats and walnut dashboard uh, door cappings. So if I open up here, you can just see how nice same sort of thing you'd see on a Rolls Royce actually that is beautiful and that famous little Walsley logo there manual stick a piece of uh, veneer um, where the radio usually would be um, manual choke um, just a lovely space to be I think I've mentioned to you paperwork there's no lack of paperwork and so this is the older paperwork and really you can see there is a vast amount of paperwork um, old tax discs so on and so forth I think that's a good night's reading possibly three um, and as I step back from step back from the car the static photographs show how nice the engine bay is and the car is in stock having covered just 57,000 miles the car does feel very sprightly still very tight always are a lovely car to drive and in this uh, trim level they really do take some beating always very popular whenever we have a good Walsley in we've been lucky enough to sell a number of them over the years and people love them for good reason because they are a beautiful car to drive certainly can keep up with modern traffic with the well used 1800 uh, engine that turned up in a a few cars of the era um, really did suit this one very well front wheel drive would have been quite a modern dynamic back in the day power steering on this particular one makes it very easy to control especially with that large steering wheel bar things like electronic ignition uh, the car does appear to be pretty much standard I've mentioned the stainless steel exhaust well folks um, hopefully my walk around video and I am looking around it very closely, trying to find any imperfections to point out to you. Um, the car does present really nicely. Um, the paintwork is very nice on the car. And if I'm being super fussy, uh, oh, actually that was a twig. I thought that was a scratch, but uh, just in here, that could actually just be where a little bit of wax has gone in this little joint here. So that's uh, nothing to worry about. The tiniest of little marks here. Um, one or two very, very minor stone chips, which do not detract from the overall standard. Nice period plates there that really stand out in a car like this. The chrome work and the hubcaps and wheel embellishes look great. 
just a beautiful overall car presented really nicely that drives really well. Well, folks, we offer a full UK delivery service. We can part exchange your existing classic car. Uh, we can um, exchange uh, modern cars and light commercials and some four wheel, wheel drives, that sort of thing. Uh, all the cars we sell go for our own workshop. Um, we are a believer in the MOT system. This car has a very long MOT right through to April 2025. And all our cars do have this PDI, which is a pre-delivery inspection, where we check everything, we test drive the car, the car goes up on the ramp, the wheels come off, the brake checks, steering suspension, making sure she drives like she should, over and above anything an MOT would usually check for. And uh, overall, we just want to make sure that our cars arrive ready for you to jump in and enjoy. So, if you are interested in this lovely Wolsey, please give me a call uh, through the usual channels. Um, and you are welcome to come and have a look at this car. Just see how nice it looks when you see it for real. Beautiful on the road. And uh, just to recap, it's a 1969 Wolsey 1885. It's a manual gearbox, power steering, just 57,000 miles in royal blue. With a very nice blue interior. I think the only thing I noticed on the car interior wise, I've got one small nick in this seat and maybe a little repair down here. But considering the age of the car, I think the rest of the interior is in pretty excellent condition. It's thick wall carpets in blue, a lovely walnut dash that these walls really have and um, an epic amount of service history and there's actually uh, the original um, purchase receipt in the car as well which is a lovely thing to have so folks thank you for watching today's video this is danny of bradley james classics signing out